Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 38th Vue.js tutorial and in this video we are going to take a look at mixins. Okay then, so what is a mixin? Well, if you've ever used SAS before, you may be familiar with the concept. It's basically a chunk of code that we can reuse over and over and over in different places. So a few tutorials back, we created this computed property right here called filtered blogs. And we use that computed property to filter through this blogs array right here to only show certain blogs dependent on a search term, right? Now, say we wanted this kind of functionality in not just this component, but in various other components as well in our application. Then what we'd be doing is we'd be using this code in each component, right? Now, that seems like a waste of time. Ideally, what we'd like to do is kind of externalize this bit of code, put it into what's known as a mixin, and then import that mixin into each component that needs it, that functionality. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So first of all, let's create another component. I'm gonna right click and go to new file, and I'm gonna call this list blogs.view. Okay, so this is gonna be very similar to the show blogs, except this time, it's just gonna list them by the title and not this little bit of article stuff here. Okay, so we'll call this list blog titles. Okay, so if I save this and import it into the app.view, we'll just copy this. This is the root component. So list blogs and also list blogs. We need to register it locally. So we'll say list hyphen blogs and this is list blogs okay so now we can nest it up here which we'll do underneath show blocks so list hyphen blogs okay so now if i save this we'll view this in a browser and at the top we have all blog articles this is show blocks and then beneath that we have the list blogs titles component which just lists by the title and we have the search bar in both right now, I know these are on the same page at the minute, but just imagine you have them on different pages, different sections of your website. And we'll see how we can do that later on. But just imagine you've got these two different components and they're both using this kind of filtered blogs computed property because they're both using it here, right, in the search term. If I type in sunt, it's gonna filter those. If I type in sunt here, it's gonna filter those ones. So they're both using that code. So now let's try and externalize that code. Let's take the code out of both of those components so we don't have to write it twice and externalize it in a separate file called a mixin file, okay? Where I'm gonna keep some mixins. So to do that, what I'll do first of all is create a new folder in the source folder. And I'm gonna call this mixins and any mixins I'll do, I'll store in here. You don't have to do that. I just like to do that to keep it organized. Okay, so now we've done that, I'm gonna create a new file and this is gonna be called search mixin.js, a JavaScript file, okay? And this mixin is basically gonna be the computed property. Now, what we're gonna be doing here is exporting an object. So to do that, we need to say export default, and then this is just an object. And what we can do is export now our computed properties. So we do this by saying computed, much like we would in the component itself, which is an object, and then we can put our computed properties here. So now let us go into the list blocks, or rather show blocks, where we have this computed property defined. I'm gonna cut it from there completely, right? And then save it. So we no longer have it in the show blocks. And I'm gonna to come to this mix in and paste it right in there and save that. Now we'll go to list blocks and I'm gonna take it out of here as well because we're gonna use this mixin in both of them. Okay, so how do we use a mixin then? Well, first of all, we need to import the file right here. So we'll say import and we wanna import the search mixin, right? So we'll say search mixin and it's gonna be from and then it's dot dot to go up a level because we need to come out of the components file uh, folder then into the mixins folder and then it's forward slash search mixin. Now we don't need the JS on the end, it knows it's a JavaScript file. Okay, so we've imported that now, and let's also import it into the show blocks for, uh, file as well. So we'll paste it right there. Now we need to register this mixin on this component. We need to add it in. So how do we do that? Well, pretty simply. All we need to do is come down here, and I'm gonna say mixins, and this is gonna be an array. And we need to pop in 
whichever mixins in this array we want to use in this component. So the mixin I want is this thing right here, search mixin. So I'm going to copy that dude and paste it right down here. Okay, I'm just going to do the one for now. I'll leave show blogs for now and we'll view this in a browser. Okay, so now we have list blog titles right here. It's doing this computed property for us and this is for list blogs, right? So now this is working, okay? So that works. Now let's import it to this one. So we'll go to show blogs and again, we've already imported it there. So let's just register the mixing by going down to the bottom and putting in the mixins property. This is an array and we're gonna pop that in, save it and now let's view this in a browser and now the top one works as well, okay? So that is what mixins are for. We can use mixins to kind of externalize popular pieces of code or pieces of code you're gonna be using again and again, and then we can just import them into whichever components that we need them in.